How is it everybody? Welcome back. Brad Akimo here from Reload Hawaii and thank you for watching another video. Tonight we're going to be talking about the Sunjack portable solar panel. We took this hiking with us to Haleakala last weekend and it did great. I mean Haleakala literally means the house of the sun. What better place to test a solar panel than the house of the sun? Yeah, it was doing like cell phones and speakers and even this little light bulb that they gave us. It did absolutely awesome. Let me show you how it works. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the views from Haleakala, and let me show you how this works. I'm gonna be posting an entire video on how to hike Haleakala after this. I put the annotations here in this section when you're done. But check out that sunrise, man. That's Haleakala, 10,000 feet above sea level. It was butt cold at like 6.30 in the morning, but look at that, man. So we took it up to 10,000 feet above sea level, and then we took it all the way down to sea level, charging batteries and phones, and in the middle, we stayed at this cabin here. No electricity, wood-burning stove, and guess what? An outhouse. And let me tell you, there is nothing worse than having to use the John in the morning in 30 degree weather with 30 mile an hour winds with rain coming down on you and you have to use an outhouse. Anyhow, here you go, the Sun Jack. This is the 14 watt version. It comes with two carabiners that can attach to any one of the corners. I think there's four of those attachments all around and that one in the center of the folio case there. Two micro USB cables and you get a battery bank in here. So this is an 8,000 milliamp battery bank. So depending on the size of your battery or whatever battery you're trying to charge, for example, you might be able to do it twice. There's two outputs, so you can actually charge two things at one time. And it's got a flashlight, handy dandy. So here's how it works. Just unzipper this mesh pocket. I just wanna show you where the, the USB stuff plugs into this inverter area here. You can see the red light is not on. All you have to do to turn it on is open up the panels and it's gonna start charging right away, like this. So you can actually charge four devices. When the battery bank is full, you can charge two into that and you can charge two devices directly into the solar panel. Um, it says here on the box I was reading earlier that it takes about five hours to charge the battery bank. You can charge your phone maybe about four times. Again, you gotta check on the size of your battery. And the camp light that will go over a little bit later on, you get nine hours of usage. And that was about right. That every night we use about four hours and it was about halfway done uh, on the battery on the battery bank there. So there, there it is, charging straight from the device, charging my phone, so totally legit deal. What's nice too is that all that stuff fits in this mesh pocket when you're done. All you gotta do is take the battery bank, put it in that little elastic band there, take the two micro USB cables, fold them up in there, gather up your carabiners, and you're done, you're set to go. Now for the camp light, it comes in, you can get them in different colors, a multicolor, like it changes color, or you can get it in cool white, warm white, standard configuration meaning just one bulb or you can get it in a, in a daisy chain configuration. So the one I have is just a standard cool white. So I, I couldn't daisy chain this one. The other one has like another plug for a USB in it. Uh, but this is what it looked like. So in the daytime, I just wanted to show you guys that it comes with a seven foot cable or eight foot cable. It's whatever it is, it's super long. So you can actually stretch it up to the ceiling and it's got a little toggle switch on it. And you, know, you can turn it off and off. Look at that, so bright, so bright. But I recommend it, you know, it's gonna be good in natural disasters or if, you're, if your home just loses power, if you're gonna go camping or hiking, I, I recommend going with the 14 watt one, not the 20 watt one because they're heavy. Check them out at sunjack.com. They got all kind of goodies there for you. I recommend it. Guys, that's the ending of the review. I got some slides at the ending here so you can have good looks at Haleakala. If you like the review, guys, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And as always, I will catch you later.